What's up everybody, this is your boy Michael Mariner, aka The Shift Motivator. And I just wanted to do something a little bit different for you today. I just wanted to give you an inside scoop on who I really am. I know a lot of you probably watched some of my videos, some of you have been summoned to my engagements, have heard me and watched me speak, um, but many of you probably be are still trying to figure out um, who is this guy, the shift motivator? Where did he come from? Um, well, just to give you a little bit of background um, about myself, I spent about 10 to 15 years uh, in the actual financial industry. And um, I had gotten to the point to where I wanted to do something for the community. And I began to do financial seminars for free. I, I did them all over the community without charging anybody a dime. And uh, it was just something that I wanted to do to give back to the community. And so what began to happen is usually at the end of the event, I would take Q&A and I begin to um, answer them and to try to help lives um, be changed in the best way that I could and that I knew how. But it never failed um, that it started to get to the point where somebody would come at the end of the seminar and ask me, have I considered going into motivational speaking? And then it just got to a point where it began to be repetitious, where somebody would come at the end of the seminar or the workshop and ask me, hey man, have you ever considered motivational speaking? Um, in the beginning, I did not. I have to be honest with you, it was just something that I wanted to do to give back to the community. And what I want to add and interject into this real quick, I want you to pay attention to what goes on in your life. Look at your childhood. Look at the things. Go back and review and look at the things that you did as a child and even some of the things that you do now as an, as an adult. Because those are the things that are going to lead you into your purpose and destiny. Because I want you to remember something. Success leaves clues. And so I began to pick up on the clues, and so I, de I decided to interact on it. So after considering that, I said, hey, why don't I just go ahead and give this thing a shot? So, so how I got started, um, it was actually the worst place in my life. I don't know if you remember, um, it was back in like 2004, 2005. There was a tragic thing that happened in the state of Florida. Uh, we got hit with multiple hurricanes. Pretty much me and my family got hit with the last one. And it, and it displaced us for a, a while. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit something else about me. I am a focused individual, I am a visionary. And when I put my mind on something, there's nobody that can shake me or deter me from whatever it is I have in my mind to do. And during this, this time of displacement, we lost our home. Um, so, to say that your situation is impossible, um, that your dreams won't happen, that they can't happen, um, I beg to differ, my friend. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it, and then once you put your mind to it, you begin to put those thoughts into action. And so, even though we was in a place of displacement, even in the midst of me losing uh, my home due to the uncontrolled nature of what went down, uh, I still, in my heart of hearts, had to figure out a way how can I maneuver my family into a better place, into a safe environment, uh, to where we can get things back in our life, back on the right track? And so I, I didn't quit. I didn't stop. Um, I got frustrated um, along the way, of course. And so long story short, I ended up um, running into an investor. We did some business, transacted some business, and God blessed us in that situation, um, even though it was a terrible thing. And I'm saying that to say this, it, it got me all the way to the point on how Shift Motivations actually got started. The company, the brand, the platform that I use to change lives all over the world. And I'm sharing this with you to let you know sometimes your greatest tragedy can turn into your greatest triumph. Remember when I told you that when I have my mind set on something that nobody can deter me for it? Well, I, I felt like I was in a place to where my faith was in a whole different realm because I had, I felt in my heart that I, I lost a home. And eventually, we got ourselves into a brand new home that nobody had never lived in because we stayed the course, we stayed faithful uh, to what we believed, and in the end result, we got what we desired, we got what we dreamed. But during that time when we displaced, that's where I, I wrote and published my first book. And see, so all of you dreamers out there um, that have these big dreams and these big goals, that's great. That's awesome. And so what you want to do is have uh, as much knowledge as you can about your industry, about your product, about your craft, so that you can have a successful launch in whatever you do. And so that's how Shift Motivation started. Uh, I was following this guy 
amazing motivational speaker, one of the top motivational speakers in the world by the name of Delatoro McNeil II out of, out of Tampa, Florida. And I, for years I had been trying to get um, to his one of his speakers boot camps. And so there was this particular year that everything just kind of failed. Like all the stars aligned in the right direction and I was where I was supposed to be and I had what I needed at the time to do what I needed to do. During this time, there was a session that we had with one of the top brand specialists in the world. So when, when she got around to me, she looks at me and I can remember just, just like it was yesterday. She looks at me and she says, she says, you need to do something with the word shift. She says, I don't know what exactly, you know, we don't have a whole lot of time, but you need to do something with the word shift. And so now I want to tell you something, just because you have a thought, an idea, or somebody gives you something that can benefit you, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for you immediately and right away. So one day as I'm working on my job, the thought came to me, shift motivation. And I was like, that's it. A light bulb went off. Shift motivation. That's my company. That's my brand. That's how I'm going to get started. My philosophy is think different, be different, live different. If you think more differently than others are willing to think and you're willing to become more than most are willing to become, then you have the opportunity to live the life that most won't have the opportunity to be able to live. The word shift is defined as a change in position, place, or direction. My thing is if you make a change or a shift in one of those areas, you'll generally shift in all three. Why is that? Because a change in position will automatically change our direction, which automatically leads you to a new place. What am I motivated by? Uh, that's a very simple question for me to answer. I'm inspired by a lot. Um, I had great parents. I have a great circle of influence around me. But what really motivates and inspires me, the shift motivator, is seeing lives change. It's that simple. That's my passion. That's what drives me. If you come to me for a one-on-one -on -one coaching session or if I'm doing a presentation uh, with an audience and I feel that nobody's life has been changed, then I feel like I haven't done my job. And so that's really what motivates and inspires me is the simple fact that somebody's life has changed. But we all know that uh, we can't change everybody's life. You're not going to change everybody's life. I'm not going to change everybody's life. But we've all been assigned to somebody to help assist them in this thing called life. That's really what motivates me and inspires me and gets me going. Because I'm really a self-motivated individual. But if I ever get into a place where I need some motivation myself, I rely on some of the speakers that have encouraged me through their presentations. Um, I listen to certain types of music and sometimes I even go down to maybe the local park and I'll just sit there and gaze over the water as it comes and puts me into a place of peace. And now that you know a little bit more about me, I look forward to connecting with you. I look forward to motivating you, inspiring you, empowering you, and help equip you with the tools necessary to help shift your life into the direction that you want it to go. I just want to leave this with you. Whatever your passion is, whatever your dream is, I want to encourage and motivate you to go after it with everything in you. Don't be afraid. Uh, don't worry about what you don't have. Don't worry about what people are going to say or think. This is your dream. This is your life. They can't control you or your life or your dream. But guess what? If you never get started, it'll never happen. It'll never come to fruition. Listen, it's not the challenges that make us. It's the response to the challenges that make us. And your dream is crying out for a response. Your ideas are crying out for a response. Now, my question to you, are you going to answer the call to the response? Because you're not going to be happy. You're not going to be satisfied until you fulfill that call, that nudge that is on the inside of you telling you that there is more out of life. I want something different. I want something better. And listen, my friend, there is more. There is something different. There is something better. And I encourage and motivate and inspire you to go after that, which is better for your life. So listen, this is your boy, Michael Mariner, a.k.a. The Shift Motivator, saying, listen, I'll see you at the top because the bottom is way too crowded.